you're new to 3D printing. And that means you're also new to 3D modeling. And you clicked on this video because you want to learn a little bit about hinges, especially making hinges in a beginner friendly manner. Well, today we're making hinges in Tinkercad. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Cole Hansen. This is Print and Repeat, and this is 3D modeling made easy. Let's get into it. All right, so we have made it into Tinkercad. We have got our work plane set up. Now all we have to do is go ahead and get our shapes out on the work plane and get going. So let's grab our box, let's grab our cylinder, let's grab our paraboloid. With that, that is all we need. We're gonna take our cylinder right here and we're gonna turn him to 90 degrees, get him front and center. We can actually move our paraboloid and our box out of the way. And with this, we're just going to click Control D, get our other cylinder right here. We're now going to pick our paraboloid, and we are going to click the Cruise button, or C on your keyboard, and you are just going to take that white dot and then put it right on the edge of your cylinder. Now we're going to highlight them together, click L, align them center on height and width, and then boom, we're golden. Now, we just need to click them back one millimeter and then highlight them to group them together. Control G, that looks awesome. Now, we're gonna click Control D, duplicate them, move them over here, click M so we can mirror it, and then boom, we have the basic idea of what our hinge is gonna be. So with this now, what we can do is we're gonna take our two pieces and align everything together. So align it all center, align it all height, and then now just kind of get everything to the edge. Right there, right there. Love that. So now everything's aligned. All we gotta do is click Control D and move one over here. Control D, move it over there. And then now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically just make these two bad boys holes, move them out one millimeter, like so, and then what I'm gonna do is just group everything together. Like this, Control G. Now, take our original paraboloid that we had over here, our duplicates, For good measure, just realign them like so. They're centered, they're centered, golden. Now we're gonna move them out three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Solid as a rock. So now they are two millimeters outside of the holes that we have cut. And from here, what you can do is if you want to, make our main cylinder a hole, and you can see all the space that we have left inside of this for this joint to then articulate round. So now we're going to take our box and basically put them right here in the middle. Couldn't be any better. We can highlight everything and then just align it. So I actually want to align it to this. Boom. Centered up nice and easy. And with this, what is... Actually, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Control D, move him over, click Control D, move him over here. And then now... What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this and align him right to the edge, just like so, right in center, and then do the same thing over here. Align him to the edge, right in the center, and now what we can do is group all these together and align them like this. that is good looking and if you know anything about hinges all you got to do now is once you print everything break it apart so what we can do is group this and make this solid again group it all together control G and this is the basics of what our hinge will look like the beauty of this now is you can resize it to the exact size as you want. You just gotta make sure that these are even. So, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have any design ideas, any requests, anything you guys want to learn, 
this is my entire channel to teach you guys exactly how to go from beginner to mastery in a very easy and user-friendly software like Tinkercad. So I will see you guys in the next one. Click that subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to tune in for more Tinkercad videos. I'll see you all in the next one.